to it. Um, right off the bat, I would say, um, did you get a chance to do the like the jailbreak version of Chat GPT? Mm, yeah, there's a few of them, and it keeps iterating over time. Uh, I think you showed me like a new one, and it's actually called the jailbreak method. The most the, the method that I did most recently was just called Dan version 5. And I edited Dan version 5 to have more conditional statements, more do this only, don't do this. And I made a video about that on my channel if anyone wants to check it out. I think it's outdated now, though. Uh, OpenAI already patched it, but then it, it's kind of like hacking. It's the cat and mouse game. And now there's a another jailbreak out there that... I think you showed me, Sam. Have you been playing around with that? What's up with that? Oh, the padlock one, yeah. As like commands where you can do like forward slash and stuff like that. That's a good one. Uh, if I, I don't want to promise anything because I I have a horrible memory. But if I remember, I'll put the uh, link in the description for cool. the the method that that I that I we we were talking about. The other thing um, that we were discussing was the fact that the the API doesn't really seem to have a filter. Yeah, uh, it's worth investigating. So from what I've researched, if you get access to their API, you can query chat GPT through the API and then get a raw response back. Now, OpenAI has endpoints for filtering that data so that you comply with their terms of service, but they leave it, at least according to my knowledge, up to the developer to do that. So... If you wanted access to more information uh, in a non-public facing way, you might be able to just play around with their API for your own purposes to get less filtered data, more raw output. 